my name is Rach and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today we are continuing our series here on the channel of me playing Minecraft but it's one day a day. So if you guys haven't already seen me play this challenge I will have the playlist and some of the videos linked up above so you guys can go back and watch some of the other videos. But today is day four of this challenge so I have currently played four days in total and that means it is time for the recap for the first four days so first i'm going to give a brief recap of the first three days and then i'm going to tell you guys my goals for the first week and then i'm going to give you guys the recap of this episode specifically so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in so day one went much as you would imagine. I pretty much just got a bunch of starting supplies. So I got some food, I got some wood, and then I got a little bit of cobblestone, I think, above ground. And maybe even a little coal, I'm not sure about that though. And then I headed underground. But basically my plan was to get as much resources as I could the first day, and then that night I would start my mining journey. Um, I wasn't actually able to find as much food as I thought I was going to be able to, so food is very much still an issue, but I did find a lot of wood, and we spawned in in a snowy taiga biome, and there were a lot of ice spikes nearby, so I had to travel for a bit to get to a regular taiga, which is where I settled. Um, there wasn't a lot of food really anywhere, um, even in the taiga itself. I thought there were going to be more like animals like sheep and stuff but we still don't have a bed so I guess I'm just going to have to wait to find some animals. Um, now as for my first week goals, uh, I mostly just want to get some full body iron armor. Um, I would like to get settled with my coal where I don't have to worry about running out of that. Um, I would like to get some food because I'm desperately in need of some food. And I would also like to get a bed. That way I can start sleeping through the night. So a bed, some food, and then some basic iron armor just so I won't die all the time. That would be the main goals. So the notes from day two is that I had trouble finding coal for torches when I was mining. And I did find an underground mine shaft that I didn't explore fully that day. But I was kind of having a lot of trouble finding torches, so I was taking some torches from the chest that I was finding in the mine shaft, and then I took a few torches from the mine shaft itself if there was like a lot of light around already, and I would take those and place them around so I could get a bit more lighting going on. But I was definitely struggling. I had to smelt down some of my precious wood that I got from day one and use that for some charcoal so I could get some torches going on. And honestly, that was a bit depressing. I haven't had to use charcoal in a long time, so I was a bit sad about that. But day three, I decided I needed to go hunting because I was starting to starve. <laughs> and that was honestly the scariest part of this, was just thinking I was going to die from starvation because that would have been really embarrassing if the first time I played Minecraft in forever, I was recording it for YouTube and then I died because I starved. That would have been really embarrassing. So I went hunting for some food. I think the only food that I found was really berries. I mean, I think I found a chicken or two and like some cows. But for the most part, I basically just got some berries and then survived on that. Which is okay because again, the coal was a bit of an issue. Um, I did find some coal on day three. Um, not a, just a ton of it, but I did find enough that it's it's kind of a light pad. I wouldn't say it's like a, a heavy pad where I don't have to worry about coal for a while. Um, but I will say that I found enough that I don't have to worry about making charcoal for my torches anymore. And that brings us to our day four notes. So day four was actually pretty interesting. And there are actually a bit more high points that I want to hit. But yeah, I just want to real quick say that my goals for this week are just like the iron armor and getting food. And then bonus would be getting a bed. So keep that in mind. So my standards are kind of low going into day four. Something I did forget to mention is that in the mine shaft that we found, I think there are other portions of the mine shaft that I haven't yet explored. But I will be exploring more of the mine and possibly even the mine shaft today when I'm mining. 
And then also I wanted to say that on day three, I did have my first monster encounter and that was really scary. I thought I was going to die. I didn't though. And I will be letting you guys know the first time that I have a death because I'm hoping it'll be really late in the series and I can get a pretty good run going because I would really like to be able to say I haven't died and it's been like 60 days or something. However, day four was pretty scary because as you guys have seen, we started off with a creeper attack on my life and honestly, I was really scared because I don't have any armor. I don't even have any like leather armor or anything that I've stolen from a village or anything like that. So when I saw that creeper, my life flashed before my eyes and I honestly was thinking for a minute like, do I need to leave this mine? Do I need to just go up and try to get some like leather armor or something so that I don't die down here? But I didn't. I persevered and I stayed down there and I kept mining and I found a lot of things in the mines, like quite a lot of copper, which I don't really know that I'm going to be using at any point um, because for me, I don't think copper is that useful. If copper is really useful though, do let me know in the comments because I don't really know much about it. Like they added it into the game and I kind of stopped playing Minecraft like shortly thereafter. So if you guys could tell me what copper is useful for and like why I need to keep it, then that would be really helpful because I, I really don't know what it's used for. I know you can use it to make copper blocks and like a copper thing for lightning or something, but I really don't know much about it. So if you guys know anything about copper, do let me know. Um, and then I also found quite a lot of coal and a lot of iron, which was probably my greatest achievement from today was just how much iron I found. And honestly, I'm really, really, really happy about the iron um, because I was able to make full body iron armor, which I realized is a little bit of a spoiler because I technically don't craft it until the end of the episode. But you guys see me gathering the iron, you know I'm getting a lot, so I feel like I can go ahead and tell you guys that I did go ahead and craft that full body iron armor today, which was really good because I really feel a lot safer now. I feel like now I can go into the rest of the week feeling a lot more safe, and if I need to mine some more, I won't die. <laughs> maybe, possibly. I mean, there's a good chance I still will, but, you know, maybe I won't. Um, I was also able to make an iron sword and pickaxe, as well as a bucket, which I thought was pretty good, um, because the pickaxe obviously was a necessity if I'm going to try to get any diamonds at all, and then the bucket I wanted because I want to do some farms. Um, since I'm running out of food, I thought that some of those things we found in the chest when we were exploring the mine shaft from day two, I think it was. Um, we found like some carrots and stuff, so I was thinking I could plant a garden and go ahead and plant those carrots and maybe like some wheat seeds from around the Tega, and that way I could start growing my own food instead of trying to hunt for it because honestly the hunting has been not very fruitful for me. <laughs> like I'm still very hungry. I'm living off of the berries and bread that I found and your girl needs some other fruit. So I think gardening is my best bet. And I'm hoping I can find some more seeds for my garden, or rather my future garden, because I found another mine shaft really, really deep in the mines um, when I was exploring the rest of the mine shaft that I found on day two. I found another section of it that looks like an entire another mine shaft that just spawned in like really close. And I'm really excited to get to explore that because I feel like it has a lot of goodies in there. And I'm really hoping I can find like a potato because if I could get like a good wheat sized garden and then some carrots and maybe like a potato or even just some beet seeds, I would settle for beet seeds at this point, um, then I would definitely love that. Um, just any food that I can eat really, I'm, I'm starving, so <laughs> any food would be lovely. But really all I want is, now that I have my armor, is I just want to get a good food source set up. I'm a simple girly, you know, I just want some simple armor, not anything too fancy. And then a good food source and maybe a bed or something. That way I can start focusing on building something really cool for the LP. And yeah, that's about it for today. I hope to see you guys in the next Minecraft video. I'm really enjoying this series and I hope you guys are too. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye!